Warning, this podcast contains Killer Cleo. Welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for The Flash, Season 3, Episode 23, Finish Line, the season finale. I'm your host, Cleo, and with me I have Dom and Nikki. Hello. 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 Eh? Uh, I feel like that's how I feel after the, eh? Uh? Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't feel like it was a season finale to me. Yeah, there were a couple things that didn't quite feel right about the very end of it. Honestly, I like the rest of the episode. A couple things that didn't feel right about the very end. I, I I think I'm actually more upset that I didn't call the ending. Or didn't call the, 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 the iris the, the solution. Switch. Yeah, the switch. Who called it? No one. Uh, well, yeah, no, it was a theory. It. it was a theory. I think it was Lee uh, in chat. Oh, okay. It was a theory that was he shared with us. It was going around the internet. Um, okay, yeah. That uh, that HR was using that because yeah, we well, hadn't seen that tech up right. until like the episode before with Killer Shark again. You know. Like, no, we saw. No, I mean like we hadn't seen it for a very long time, oh, and then it yes. just came out of left field again. So you're right. They introduced it in, like, episode four or five, and then yeah. we hadn't seen it again until you're right. Then. Yeah, so that's what everybody... I think if they didn't use it again for mm. um, the Killer Shark and just put it fresh in our minds... That King Shark. King Shark. Street Shark. Killer Frost. King Shark. Killer Frost. Street Shark. And, uh... Yeah. I think if I'll they accept. didn't use it there, it would have had more of an impact and been a little less predictable. Um... Cause, um, cause, yeah, cause that theory was going around, and then when, uh, when it actually hit, I was just like, eh, I liked my idea better. Where she just died? Where she no. died, and Barry had to accept it and not try to yeah. save her, and in mm -hmm. return it ends up saving her, because it never yeah. creates Savitar. <laughs> but, like, yeah, this, and I mean, that's, this ending, that's... Could, like, this, the way that Savitar was defeated here still confuses me, because it still makes no sense, because... How does Wally get to keep his powers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Z. That's not the problem I have. The problem I have is how did? Oh well, I guess. Yeah, no. Uh, Savitar is uh, under the effect of the same uh, rules and 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 loophole that allowed Theobard. allows Reverse Flash. Aelbard to live. Yeah. He killed the Black Flash. Which was the, is the only thing keep, well, you know, stopping Aelbard. Caitlin killed him. But it's yeah. the only thing that can stop Aelbard from being alive, basically. Mm -hmm. They killed the Black Flash. Technically, Paradox should not have been able to catch up with him. Right? Because the, the thing, I don't know, I'm so confused about it. For for me, it seems like it's something that happens anyway. But Black Flash is is there to um, punish there... them for trying to take advantage of whatever. Well, he's there to catch them when they're running away from it. And at the point that he dis disappeared, he was shot. He was stationary. He was mobilized. It was because the way it was told to us in Legends was, uh, you know, if he kept moving. You know, he could he could stay alive. He could outrun the paradox. But if he stayed still too long, uh, that it would catch up to him. Uh, and they kind of implied that maybe the Black Flash had something to do with it. But I, I, I thought the Black Flash was more of a, uh, a way to catch him and keep him stationary until it caught up with him. You know? You see, I think the problem is we haven't seen the Black Flash catch anybody. He wasn't very good at his no, job. No, he was terrible at his job. But it was <laughs> Hunter Solomon, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, Caitlin even said bye bye, Hunter. Oh, yeah, she did. I, didn't... Mm -hmm. I totally didn't put that together, but yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> 
I don't know. Because it... Because if that's the case, if it's something that catches up with them anyway, why isn't Eobard gone? Why didn't Eobard disappear? He hasn't if it's stopped. something that's going to catch up with him anyway. He hasn't stopped moving. But he has. He stopped moving in order to ditch the Black Flash in the first place. He stopped running. Mm. That was the whole thing. He stopped running to fool the Black Flash. Yeah. Mm. So it's that's the thing that's not making sense to me. I can accept Wally still having speed because uh, we need our Kid Flash. Well, that, that's not a good reason to just accept it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I'm upset about HR. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really, really... That was heartbreaking. That yeah. should have been near the end of the episode rather than at the beginning because it would have left us with that like oh my god what's gonna go now what's gonna happen now instead of what they did end with because at this point i i honestly don't care yeah really. i cared i cared more about you know cisco and and gypsy's relationship and you know <laughs> hr and um you know i actually cared a little bit more about iris this episode than what the hell happened to barry in the end like, what? How does that happen? Yeah. And it's, um... Yes. They are portraying... They're, they're showing... And he, he did. He badass walked in behind enemy lines, freed Iris, like, total badass. I'm glad that we got that. Mm -hmm. because Me too. Because, like like I said, yes, uh, last week, um, was... was Savitar just took Iris from Earth 2, and, you know, that was the end, and there's no way they could have switched. Bl well, now we got an answer, so, yeah, mm -hmm. they, yeah. They, yeah. it made sense now. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian and Chad is asking, why did it take so long for Savitar to disappear when it only took seconds for Eobard to disappear when Eddie killed himself? Um, I think the best way I could answer that is my theory is, since Eddie shot himself in the present, it was a direct ripple where... Um, Savitar was linked to a future event that hadn't happened yet, and we had to catch up to that point. So, say it was um, six hours after Iris died that Barry yeah. made the the uh, clones of himself or the the time. It, honestly, it sounded like years. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm they, just saying, yeah, they were very you know, vague about it, but it sounds like it was like a year or so down the line before he made the remnants. Because mm -hmm. in between Iris dying and him making the remnants, Wally uh, ran after Savitar, got disabled, um, the bunch of other stuff that they had mentioned had happened. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I, I think it's just because uh, one was linked to a murder and one was linked to a future event. And honestly, Eddie shooting himself was very abrupt and sudden. Yeah. <laughs> and very direct. Mm-hmm. So that might have done, uh, been it. Yeah. Um, Man, I, we got an answer to where Julian was, because I was getting real upset. I'm like, what? They haven't explained? Where's Julian? Yeah, uh, Julian made it through, so it seems like he's coming back next season. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. I, I can live with it. Yeah. That's good that you can live with it. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> Still I mean, we, like know I, we know what he's going to be doing for most of the time in the next season is trying to convince Caitlin to come back and take the cure. Mm -hmm. Which I hope she never takes it. Because this is she kind of came to terms with what you were talking about, like yes. just living with it and being the new person that she is. So, I mean, yeah. she is Killer Cleo. Caitlin and F Killer Frost found a middle ground and they're a new person now. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad she didn't take it, and I'm so glad. I'm just very happy. <laughs> very happy that we finally come to that. Um, but, like, she didn't break it or anything, so, you know, Julian still does have it. You're yeah. right. He's probably going to try to convince her to take it. He's Slip probably going to be like, cereal. no, fuck you. 
slip it into her cereal. She's yeah. gonna she's gonna start singing Lady Gaga I was born this way. He, he's gonna convince her to go for blue raspberry slushies late later and you know it's like you, your it. mouth is already blue. What, what what's the <laughs> what's gonna change it, you know? Well the lips are blue. Match the tongue. Gotta turn that blue too. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> But that he can easily slip that blue liquid into the blue blue raspberry slushy, yeah. so you, know, you can't yeah, even tell. It would, it would blend in. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, by the way. <laughs> it's like roofing somebody. That's not. Yeah, cool. it's not cool. But I, it's, it's like it's worse because you're changing their DNA structure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, you could be. Never mind. <laughs> Let's not get into that conversation because roofies are bad and just don't ever. All right, moving on. Yes. Uh, so after Iris is saved, um, Barry's plan B is to appeal to Savitar's humanity. It seemed like it was almost working a little bit. It was, but don't you think you should share your plan with the rest of the team before you do it yeah i know he just brings him in and like joe pulls a gun and like everyone's like Sh -sh -sh fuck you man <laughs> like iris was the only also... one accepting of him yeah because iris understood what barry was trying to right. do but like if barry you know if if say you know savitar walks in the room and everybody's like hi how are you like wouldn't you think he'd be like yeah, this is this is fucked up. I'm out. <laughs> Cause I would, I'd be like, okay, these people are supposed to hate me, and they're greeting me yeah. like I'm their best friend. I'm outie. Cause this is weird shit going on. Something's mm -hmm. gonna happen. So I I get why Barry didn't tell, but I mean, the team is a little bit awkward when it comes to pretending to have that special social interaction with somebody. <laughs> so I would have just lured him into a trap and threw him in a containment cell until he disappeared. That, that's what I would have yeah. done. I was thinking you know about that. I'm like, I'm like, don't you guys have cells that you can put people in? Can't you just use one of those? But I mean, no faster than Barry outside of the suit. The see, suit enhanced his speed. That's true. The, well, no, the it's, Barry, it's, Barry wouldn't have the Barry would have to not have come up with that plan. Because then Savitar would have known it was coming. Right. Yeah. Right. So it had to be somebody else. But Barry can't like hint towards them what he's thinking. Mm. Because Savitar knows exactly what's going on. The suit regulates the power that he makes from his speed. Yeah. I think is what... Who described it that way? Um, A couple episodes ago. Um, it's when they were Tracy? actually talking about the material. Yeah, it was Tracy. They were talking about yeah. the material of the suit and how that the, the the suit actually contains the power that he's exerting because at this point the time remnant is he's running so fast that he's heating up too he fast. He would tear himself apart. Yeah. That's... Yeah. 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 We ne we didn't really get a clear answer as to who's fastest. Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter now. No. Um. Yeah. It, it, the whole of them trying to get Savitar on their side, um, really felt very weird. Just because he's started talking about he he remembers loving Iris, and it's like, oh, we're getting into creepy territory now. Yeah. And it was creepy. I because mean, they only showed the creepy side of his face, too. So it's like mm -hmm. talking to Freddy Krueger at the same time. I'm surprised there wasn't a Freddy Krueger reference. You know, we had there a Two-Face one, which Brian... Two-Face two reference, yes. in chat, but Which no, makes Freddy me wonder cool. if, if, like... If Batman is, like, a, a comic in this universe right now, or if there is actually a Batman in Gotham right now. There yeah, is. I don't know. Um, when there we... Is? Flashpoint. I know Flashpoint's a different version of now, but uh, Bruce Wayne was on his speed dial and brought on Barry's speed dial. Oh, no, that was... That was Earth 2. Earth, yeah, that was oh, Earth was 2. That, Earth, that was Earth 2? Yeah. yeah. You, would, you would assume that Earth 1 would work in the same... I mean, I want to say, because, you know, Batman and... I mean, we and, have, uh, the, Flash we have has... the, the news article from 2025 that mentions Wayne Tech and Queen Industries merger. Yeah. Yeah. But, 
uh, we don't have any reference as to where or what Batman, you know, if he even exists at this point. Um, I don't think he'd be a comic book. Uh, so my guess is that Batman is real and uh, Cisco villain? has seen him on the news or something. You know, <laughs> that's that's my, my theory Fighting with that. Face? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I'm accepting it. Headcanon accepted. I really hope so because I I, I want to see them bring in some sort of different Batman because we know we have you know we have all the movies going on and then we have Gotham on ABC well, that, you know Fox Fox but that Fox. that's part of the problem is that um, yeah. we don't know where the wh- which company right now holds the TV rights to Batman yeah, yeah. um so that that's where things get complicated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a it was a funny reference either way. It was. Yeah. Mhm. Uh So Savitar tries to get Cisco to to change the the Beef Force bazooka, but why didn't he why did he expect him to just do what he said? Like why did he expect him to actually I think he expected Caitlin to know exactly what Cisco was doing cuz Caitlin oh. was there with Cisco pretty much the whole time. It's true. When he was augmenting the bazooka, but he still managed to get around Caitlin, Killer mm-hmm. Frost, and make his adjustments. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Too much faith in Killer Frost? I mean, she's a biologist, she's a doctor, she's not a technician or an Act, engineer, yeah. so. This episode made know. me sad. Why? It's the last episode of the guest stars Tobin Bell. Yeah. Now I have to wait till October to go see Saw to to hear him again. Maybe somewhere else in the Flash Arrowverse, he'll play some like entity. Maybe he'll something. actually play a character. Maybe when uh, Constantine finally comes back, he'll Const- bring like some demons or something, and Tobin Bell can voice a demon. Is- is de- I think they've definitely confirmed that that's going to be an animated series. Yeah, but that and the oh. guy the guy is playing the voice still, but uh, he did make an appearance in Arrow, uh, so he could still make a live action appearance the same way that Vixen has. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. I hope hoping that for a while. Mm-hmm. He's it's like such a great character. I didn't enjoy the show, but he was just such a great character. I did actually start to try to watch those episodes again. So. Yeah, I think I made it up to the third episode. I think I made it to five. Mm. Or four. I don't know. Anyway, we're talking about The Flash. Hello. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, so with the Speed Force bazooka that Cisco called the skeleton key? Yes. Turned into a skeleton key. Yeah. Freed Jay Garrick from the Speed Force prison. And, and we had a hopes. big hope to switch, right? And hope to switch Jay Garrick with Savitar. No, or I think he, he just wanted just... to bust him out. Yeah, he... <sighs> okay, so like... Because they knew... Re- releasing, like, releasing Jay Garrick really didn't do much for the plot, right? No, it did absolutely nothing for the plot. Not a thing. So... It's, Other than, it's, just, than it's Cisco's made... fault that this big, huge, freaking speed force bomb is going to go off. Well, they made good on the promise that they were going to come back for him. It's yeah, true. That's true. But I think they forgot that somebody has to be in the place of the prison. I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. And where where exactly did Jay go during during all this? He's like everything's coming around, and he not one time offered to go back in the the cell. Uh, would you offer to go back to hell? No. Nah, dog. Nah. No. I wouldn't. No, he'd just expect Barry to do it. Well, Barry did say it was his fault to begin with. Barry <laughs> Which should have just created is. another time revenant and threw it in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, so be... that it could come back and be the same damn thing, except even matter because <laughs> he'd be oh, you skipping a made... step. You just made me to throw me in prison, you asshole. <laughs> yep. I mean, uh, and... Hunter Zolomon would have done it. I feel like. Even though we, we beat Savitar, he's disappeared, all of that. I feel like in the future, if Barry makes another time remnant that lives and feels neglected and all that, 
we could start that cycle all over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That closed loop can start all over again with a surviving remnant of Barry's. If it ever uh, happens we, again. We would, we, would, uh, we would hear from it first. Because Savitar came before it caught up to that point in time. You're right. <laughs> You're right. We would hear of another speed god. There'd be some tablet that appears in Star Labs and they'd just be go, oh shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Star Labs doesn't exist anymore. You see how... Oh, how that's right, everything you... fucking blew up. It blowed that poor up. museum. Yeah, the, I, that's the first thing I said. I like, know! Hold what on! About the museum? <laughs> HR dies in this episode and his fucking legacy, the museum, is destroyed. Mm-hmm. We still mm-hmm. have his books. Yeah, well, maybe... Yeah, he maybe he... Thank God. Yeah. And his drumsticks. Oh, shut up. I'm so sad. When those drumsticks <sighs> fell from Iris, I was like, oh. Ouch. Yeah, that was more like, we, we, we had heard about the theory and we kind of like accepted the theory. And then it only became real when the drumsticks fell. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was. It was that symbolism of the character that was just like, that was the heartbreaking thing. That was. Mm-hmm. And then the whole coming around and Cisco putting them on his gravestone and everything. So uh, I was really hoping that they were going to put them on like a pedestal in Star Labs like they do uh, Jay Garrick's helmet, you know, from time to time. Oh, my God. Maybe they will. I hope so. No drummer. I mean, not that he's an actual drummer, but no drummer has only one pair of drumsticks. That's true. It's true, but he was from a different Earth, so I don't know how many drumsticks he did have. No drummer there. in any Earth. Well, no, he <laughs> had... only one pair. I'm sure he had more, but I don't think he yeah. brought them with him. Yeah, but he could have bought them. Like Maybe. He bought millions of dollars worth of coffee. But they were from Earth 37's uh, wood. He's from 19. Earth 19's wood. Special (laughs) wood that only grows on Earth 19. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to belittle the... the Yeah. Or or maybe they were a gift from his partner, you know? There's more sentimental value. It's true. They probably were, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe we'll see his partner next next season. Maybe. That would be cool. Yeah. Cool. At least to like pay respects, because he—I mean, he's bar- hes from Earth nineteen, and he's buried on Earth one. So even if he comes just to be like, shit. Yeah, and and, and I mean, we already know the actor because he, you know, mm-hmm. did the face swap in the beginning of the season. Yeah, and and speaking of interdimensional hopping, Gypsy, what what what's up with her and Cisco being linked now? They're linked. They can feel each other across dimensions. Well, she could feel him. Creepy. It's so cute. Well, she I could be- feel him. I bet you, if she was in as much trouble as Cisco, because Cisco was about to die. Yeah. yeah, he was about to die. I think if she was in as much trouble as Cisco was, he would have felt her. Yeah, I believe how that. he would get to her is another question, because he's still kind of wibbly wobbly when it comes to open up his his portal. So follow your heart, dude. Heart. <laughs> Oh, I could just see how clumsy he'd be trying to go well, save her in another dimension. <laughs> oh my the god! The way yeah, they no. work is you just have to think of what where you're going. So I think the emotional level would just direct him right to her immediately. Yeah, because that's that's how he, he vibes objects. Is like the the you know touching them gives him the vibe to see something specific. Yeah. So I'm sure if he felt her across dimensions, he could find her just by focusing on it. Yeah. Which is actually the the same thing he did to take to vibe into the future to the day Iris died was focus on Barry focused on it and he focused on Barry. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. So yes, they're, they're so cute. I like how Barry's like, "Take good care of her." He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try." She's man. like, "I'm right here." She's <laughs> <laughs> like, "All right." She's gonna be the one taking care. of I know everything. exactly. That's that's really how that's gonna go. Is she's gonna make sure Cisco doesn't die? Yep. I'm curious how uh, when we come back now, like how how long is gonna been gone between them? You know, like 
Is it going to pick up a year later? Is it going to pick up months later? Like, I, I want to start getting closer to 2025. So I think we're going to, I think time's going to travel normally. It's going to be, a, a, you know, six months from now. Yeah. Ish. They're going to try to it's usually keep how current. they handle the summers. Yeah. Yeah. Five to six months. Yeah. Because if they go too much into the future, then it's, you know, it's hard to stick, like, use g- gadgets, like our everyday gadgets, and, like, be yeah. able to keep it accurate because you can't, like, jazz it up and be like, oh, well, you know, this is the future device. And it's like, it looks like the normal device, just with a little bit of, you know, glitter on it or <laughs> there's a little extra like a silvery part right there and you know yeah. you can't so, really... what, were we, what were we saying last week how they should air season five first and then do yeah. season four <laughs> that would be fantastic <laughs> start showing the seasons out of order because it's a time travel show <laughs> i would absolutely love that i really would you know what happened when a show was aired out of order? It got canceled. It was called Firefly. <laughs> well, that's the episodes out of order. And that was that was not on purpose of yeah. the creator. That was not intentional. I, I know, but I, I'm just <laughs> I'm I'm worried about that. If you air anything out of order, even if it's a full season at a time, it's going to get ah yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um I feel like that's a thing that a comedy show should do. Like, do less time on this show, and it shows a bunch of scenes that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. Anyway. Mm-hmm. anyway um, let's, let's, let's talk about Barry going into the Speed Force, because, you know, we've got... No one's in the prison, and someone needs to be in the Speed Force prison. Yeah. Um, and... The Barry knows. Barry knows before anybody says it, before the Speed Force comes out and tells him, Barry knows it has to be him. Yeah. Which I find supremely admirable. Yeah, Barry made good thing. decisions. I never thought I'd, I know. I'd, oh my I'd god. say that. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, um, it's definitely the show's gonna go in a in a different direction now, and um I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah. Because not only is Barry going to make good decisions, we're not having a major, uh, we're not having a speedster for our major, for our major villain, uh, next season. Good. Um, they dropped his name in this episode already. Your face? No. Um. When time remnant... Oh, Savitar says him, right? I, yeah. what did he say? DeVoe. 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 Oh, that's right. I feel like we've heard that name before he's, as well. He's known as the Thinker. Yes, no, we did hear that name before. Mm-hmm. I think Savitar was listing all the big villains, and DeVoe was one of the names. Mm-hmm. And that was the only one, only name we didn't know. Yeah, so he's he's supposed to be slated to be uh, the big... He's kind of like a Jay Garrick-level uh, villain, but he's not mm-hmm. a speedster, so... Um, mm-hmm. Should be interesting. I, I'm looking forward to it, because... Yeah. Uh, We've all we've had our speedsters for the first three seasons of the show. Going into the yeah. fourth one, you know, here we go, something different, and and I like it. Yeah. So, um, but, and I mean, Iris brought this up for Wally and for Jay. They were in hell. Like it was a terrible time. Yeah. Uh, but the Speed Force, you know, came as Barry's mother. And made it seem like this was his rest. Like, time time for you to rest. You know, like, the end it, of the like hero's the, journey. Yeah, like, a place where he goes to die. Like, you're, where you're never gonna see him again. You know, kind of thing. I didn't quite take it that way, but definitely as a... And she said, the end, the end of the, the finish line. It's like the end of the hero's journey. Like, that doesn't feel right to me. Because... I mean, from we glimpse the future, it's not the end of Barry being the Flash because he still has to do a bunch of shit that gets Eobard mad at him to come to back to the past and yeah. kill his mother. So and then the news article that repaired itself, you know, like yeah. Flash dis- yeah. disappears, you know, in twenty uh, twenty five, uh, and then you know, as 
Time Remnant Savitar Barry said, you know, uh, you know, you're gonna fight DeVoe, this is where you come up with this, uh, in order to try to defeat DeVoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, and it's like, it's something that the Speed Force would know, too. They would know Barry's got other things to do. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't think it's it's like a, a rest for now. Come rest for now. But that still feels weird to me. I don't know why. Yeah, and it's just like, I I don't get how the whole Speed Force works to begin with because we went through yeah, the first that's... season with no one locked in the Speed Force. Savitar. He was, he's been locked in the Speed Force this whole time. For eternity, yeah. Huh. Even before yeah. Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. <laughs> no, no, yes, the Speed no. Force wasn't fractured in the first season. Yeah. So we didn't have to have somebody in the prison to keep it stable. Yeah. So, yeah, it was Flashpoint. Yeah, Flashpoint made it necessary for a prison yeah. and a prisoner. Hmm. And Savitar filled it at that point. Yeah, they, because the, I think... Did they explain it this way, or did I just make this up? <laughs> but uh, when they trapped the, the original way they trapped Avatar in the Speed Force with the bazooka, um, it just made him, he was there for all time, basically. That's the way I think they explained it, yeah. Okay. Good, I didn't just make that up. <laughs> so. Yeah, now... I guess I feel like maybe maybe if Barry puts enough of himself into the speed force, it will repair it and then it won't need a prison anymore. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I hate time <laughs> travel. <laughs> I get all like wishy. Like I, I sit there and I'm trying to think of what could possibly be going on, and then it leads to something else, and then to something else, and then I look like I'm just sitting here with a complete blank face on, and it's I can't add to the conversation because I don't know where it went. <laughs> Yeah. Did I freeze on my laughing face? I did. Because of the stream. Okay, no. That, that's no. just strum. The strum. Mm -hmm. um, but Wally is the new Flash. <laughs> Barry basically hands the title down to him. Yeah. He says, no, you have a Flash. And and refers to Wally. So well, I Wally hope... is he's pretty powerful. I mean, he's yeah. just as fast as Barry. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the experience under his belt, but, you know, he's he's right up there, so he can't is handle he, it. Is he going to stop going under the name Kid Flash, though, and just become yeah. the Flash? That's, I think that's the question. Just... Yeah, I, th I, I think that's... That. It's the fact that when Barry comes back and takes the title, the Flashback, what the hell happens to Wally? Because he's not really a kid anymore. Well, then we're in... We're in comic book territory, because both Flashes exist at the same time, and they have similar costumes and drive yeah. me crazy. But <laughs> yeah, Wally is my favorite Flash in the comics, in the cartoons, in the everything. Okay. Wally's the everything. my favorite Flash. In the everything. In the everything. So I'm, I really, really want, as much as I love Wally in the Kid Flash costume, I really want to see him in the all red as the Flash. Yeah. Now, like cherry red or the crimson red, because crimson that red. Makes... it'd be yeah. funny okay. if if uh, Wally becomes the Flash, and then when Barry returns, that he takes on the mantle of Kid Flash just to keep up the charade. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, Wally could just be like, instead of just staying in Central uh, Central City, I'm just gonna you know do things all over the place. Maybe branch off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Jay s sticks around... It looks like he is. Yeah, then he'll have plenty of help. So that... That might be... Cool. And wait, I'm just remem remembering, Jesse is on Earth. Jay's Earth. He's on, she's on Earth 3. He's on Earth 2. 
He, he's on Jay's Earth. Or Jesse's on Jay's Earth. Jesse's on Jay's Earth. Yeah. She's so not on Earth, too, because she went after... Yeah. Um, Jay went in the Speed Force, in the prison. Yeah, she wanted to... She's she, on Earth 3 right now. She didn't want to leave Earth 3 without a uh, superhero. Which doesn't make sense, because Earth 2 doesn't have a speedster, but whatever. <laughs> um, so, maybe she'll come back. Guys, I fucking love Jesse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Lost Family what Adventures what... in chat is saying it all made sense uh, since I wrote the Flash Vanishes on the future newspaper that finally came into play. Didn't actually come into play yet because that's yeah, 2025. That's still yeah. seven, six or seven years from now? Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're, still, we're still a little uh, still a little bit to go on that. <laughs> maybe there'll be two papers where it says the Flash disappears. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Well, wait, if Oh, in the future, if it says the Flash disappears, what if it's ta- not talking about Barry? What if it's talking about Well, the picture Wally? did look like Flash Bar- Barry Flash, it does, not, it not Wally. Like not Wally. Yeah, I'm sure they would make Wally's suit look different, too. So I'm hoping. Yeah. I mean, that would, that would technically, that would take place in Season 9? Yes. So, I don't know if the Flash is going to go 9 seasons, but... No. I really, I really won't, don't doubt anything with with TV anymore. No. Yeah. What? Are, where are we in Supernatural? Thirteen, going on thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. yeah. It's it's in the preteen years. It's gonna get really angsty, you know. <laughs> it's gonna get angsty. Really angsty. You watch that saying. show. <laughs> really angsty. Show is I mean, already really angsty. I mean, you're gonna see, you're gonna see Sam and Dean get the whole emo cut instead. You know, instead of having like their, and then they're not you gonna wear flannel anymore. They're gonna you wear can't like leather that and black. And not come true, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There might be an episode. We know we're getting Scooby Doo, so whatever. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but for this, the Flash to go on for nine years, it would have to kind of follow the same suit. Whereas we have Jared and Jensen and Supernatural saying we're gonna go until we're done. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, and a lot of actors don't really like to do that. Um, we've already seen it on other shows where a lot of shows don't get like, that freedom either. No, they don't. It depends on the network, but it's also a budget thing too. So. It depends yeah. on the network, depends on the ratings, but you got to also remember that the network is shelling out additional money to DC for licensing, so mm-hmm. a lot of it goes on with that. If, if DC decides to up their licensing fees and it makes it impossible for the show, I don't, yeah. I don't see them doing it. Are you it, talking just about saying. The Flash? Yeah, just in general. Like, I'm just, just saying just, in general. Because we're, we're saying yeah. like this would happen in season nine, 2025. Well, so I... like for it to go on that long, there'd have to be a lot of circumstances that would have to be met and covered. Yeah, CW is owned by Warner Brothers, which is owns the properties for all the DC shows. That's why Supergirl wasn't feasible to continue on CBS, because it was too much money to pay Warner Brothers mm. for the rights to use Supergirl. So there's no none of that expenses being paid for the, any of the Arrowverse shows, because they're on their own network. It's like... ABC and Disney and and Shield. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They don't I thought, have to. Pay I thought it was like... still like a subsidiary that still had to to yeah. do. Okay. okay. No, it's the same uh, corporate structure, Warner Brothers to CW as Disney, and Marvel to uh, gotcha. AMC, ABC. Okay. But. <laughs> yeah, but Fox is still paying licensing fees Fox. for Gotham. Yes. Yes, it is. So. You're right. Um, I have a question. Caitlin kills the Black Flash. Caitlin kills Hunter Zolomon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As kills as far as we can tell. Yeah. Uh, will we need a new one? Will I mean, the Speed we... Force need one? I mean, yeah, before be the Black Flash. No. Well, he's disappeared. Be- before think... the Black Flash, before before Flashpoint, we had wraiths, right? We had time wraiths. Yes. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure those are still around. They're just they not are. as effective. Mm-hmm. And even though the Black Flash wasn't that very effective anyways, like... No. The time just, really, just seemed really a scary. lot scarier than Black Flash, to be honest. Black it's Flash just seemed like a joke. I mean, listen, the first time he showed up in Legends, I was like, that was scary. Well, the first time he like got into the face of the camera, 
Like, looked right in the screen of the TV and screamed with his like, ripped open, droopy, bug filled face. I don't know. I'm adding details that don't exist. But, you know, that, that was kind of creepy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but you're right. After that, especially since he didn't do anything, it sort of like petered off. Yeah, I yeah. still think the time rates were were uh, a lot more frightening than than he ever was. I don't think frightening, but definitely more effective. <laughs> yeah. But but Black Flash had more um, skills than they did. Yeah. yeah. I hope he's not done. Yeah. Uh, Sally uh, thought he was immortal. And he might be, and he might show up again. He, he might reform himself, but... Yeah, maybe it was just to slow him down so Savitar had more time to deal with his yeah. plan, because he had to do something with the, the the time force, or the speed force, in order to go through and make himself immortal throughout, the, throughout all of time. So he had to open that rift, and that's why he was telling Caitlin's like, so the speed force does this thing where if, you know, a speed speedster messes with the force, uh, uh, yeah, something comes out to get me, so you better be ready. This is what you're here for. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. Honestly, maybe the, the speed force knew like, the, it wasn't gonna need the Black Flash, so it just kind of gave up putting energy towards him. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Like, all right, you're you're done now. We don't need you. We actually never needed you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Savitar's bored again. <laughs> Forget emotional turmoil for a character, and then I'm a god. F you. Yeah, seriously. Like, his plan was to exist in all points at once. And, like, I cannot imagine a more painful existence than existing mm -hmm. in every second of eternity. Like... It sounds like hell. Really. Yeah. It seems like a time paradox, too. It, yeah, well... It, well, of course it's a paradox. Yes. This entire show is a paradox. Yeah. No! <laughs> I still make sense of it in my head. Your head doesn't make much sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> for, so for it to make sense, it doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing I want to mention <laughs> is that Cisco had Wally reversing polarities, <laughs> which is my favorite arbitrary sci-fi thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I thought Star Trek the at uh, that immediate time. Yep. Yeah. And honestly, before I had heard it on Star Trek when I was a kid, I heard it on um, the Transformers movie. Mm -hmm. Cup was telling a war story. He's like, we inverted polarities. I think before that, it was on Doctor Who. Yeah. No, it was, it was probably Doctor Who, Star Trek, and then, like, everything else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I thought that was really Actually, I, I feel like I've looked this up before. Um, we have looked this up before because I think we were talking. Well, no, no, no. We were we looked up um, temporal radiation. Um, the, you, you want know to look what? at we the trope right down there. TV probably trope. looked this one up too. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they have. Uh... Yeah, it originated. Legend, it originated in Doctor Who. In reality, the phrase "reverse the polarity" can be traced back at least as far as the nineteen or the eighteen ninety eight oh. War of the Worlds sequel, Edison Conquest of Mars. I didn't know it had a sequel. Yeah. Huh. Wait, book or? It, it's a there was it's this TV trope. So yeah, I mean there was a TV what... back in eighteen ninety eight, but I mean movie. No, no. I no, I think no, that movie. No, it says by Garrett P. Service, so I'm assuming that means the book. Yeah, it's gotta be the book. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know there was a sequel. I love War of the Worlds. I've read that book a hundred times. Uh, Ooh, I can't, I can't. I gotta look that up. <laughs> you learn something new every time you watch yep, one of our podcasts, right? <laughs> yeah, that Maybe is the first time, time it was coined, but that, like, but well. first time in television was Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yep, third Doctor. Oh, of course. That sounds like a thing the third doctor would say. Okay. Yeah, okay. 
Do you guys have anything else to say about this episode? I want to talk about my... Well, we talked about the villain of next season, so... Yeah, yeah. we mentioned pretty much everything. Yeah. I don't know, as... Upon first watch, I was eh on the episode. Talking about it, I feel a little better about it. Yeah. I still... Yeah. I still feel more connected to the Supergirl finale. Supergirl that that finale one really hit me a little yeah, harder. Definitely. Um, the end of this one didn't didn't hit as much. I think because, you know, the whole HR thing happened in the beginning. Which that, I think yeah, that's needed, what I said. Yeah, it needed it needed to happen in the beginning because drawing that oh, there's a, been a switcheroo with Iris thing, drawing that yeah. out would have been impossible. But Well, cuz yeah, and and drawing out the avatars actually only has moments to live kind of would would not have worked either, you know, like yeah. we had to have a reason for it. I still like my solution better. And uh I like I'm I'm honestly I think I'm I'm actually disappointed for this is one of the first times I'm disappointed my theory didn't pan out because usually mm -hmm. I throw a theory out and it's right and I just accept it and get to gloat forever, but you know. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> what it comes down yeah, to is usually. that, and when he's wrong, he ignores he he denies the fact yeah, that I he's never. Wrong. What are you talking about? There's no video evidence about. that I ever made any of these wild predictions. What are you talking about? Uh. So what you're saying is that you would have liked Barry to throw away his his training pants and pull up his big boy pants, yeah, and accept Iris for what happened instead of what happened this way, you know you want him to grow up a little bit. I'm sorry. I just I just imagined the ending of the Pokemon movie. Which one? Where like There's Ash lies. is crying over Peak or no, Pikachu's crying over Ash and I imagined that but Barry and Iris <laughs> and she comes back. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like the like I went to the theater for that movie, and it was traumatic. I know, it really was. <laughs> oh, but now it's so funny, because you put it in the... <laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I had another thought, but I lost it because of Pokemon. <laughs> Which you um, brought up. I know! <laughs> You derailed Please, your own train of thought. I did. I frequently do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can can somebody draw that now? <laughs> oh my god. Just Barry or or Just... Pikachu dressed up as the Flash. Yeah. Pikachu yeah. dressed as the Flash and Ash dressed I as know, Iris. I... Yeah. I know all he has to do is wear a wig. All the yeah. rocky ash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Maybe some lipstick. It's fine. Uh, ASO TV fan art. <laughs> that should really be a thing. We come up with so much silly, silly crap. It's stupid, yeah, stupid shit. So Dom. make make ASO TV themed trading cards of our fan art. Uh. <laughs> you're you're, you're starting something. Mm. Where can people find you? You can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Phenomenon. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Nikki, where can they find you? On Twitter at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M24. You can find me at Cleomoto, and you can find all of us at ASU TV Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, Plus, and right here on YouTube. Follow us for some more podcasts from some of your favorite TV shows, video games, and movies. Till next season, guys. Next season. Or if you don't want to wait that long, we probably cover another show over the summer that you like. Yeah. yeah. Game of Thrones. Anybody Game of Thrones? Game mm -hmm. yeah. Well, no. Scream. No. <laughs> Scream, then we got other things. No, nothing. <laughs>